Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's time to do this Dollar Tree DIY Americana decor. First piece we're gonna start with is this giant star. Um, what we're gonna need is five packs of the double pack of rulers in blue and red, Gorilla Glue Sticks. I got these from Walmart and a pencil. So keep in mind these rulers at the Dollar Tree, are not only they're a two pack, but the two packs are red and blue or pink and purple okay so here I am just determining what angle I want my point to be so with a star as long as all five points are the same you'll be able to match it up I like a traditional looking star for my fireplace so I'm just using like I don't know it's probably it's probably a 45 degree angle but you go ahead and you position the first two any way you want the trick is then we're going to match each point. That's really the key to it, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm just using my pencil to make sure I've lined up the holes and then I'm marking where it overlaps so I can know where to put the glue. And I'm only doing this for the first one, but you could do it for each one. This way I position it back in the same spot and check my hole. This glue does dry fast and it is permanent, so you know make sure you do this as quickly as possible. But once you have the first one down, the next ones are easy. I just stack them on top of each other. So I lined up the blue, I put glue wherever the blue was over the red, and I just lined up the red. And I made sure that the two ends that were by me matched the two ends of the um, star of previous. So I'm just gonna repeat this until I have all four other points done, okay? So. I want to say take your time, but it does go super fast, okay? Now remember, we're not gluing the blue ones down to the previous point. We're just gluing the red to the blue. Okay, so now that we have all five points done, um, forgive me, I don't have an aerial shot, but I'm trying to do the best that I can. Um, and we always put the red on the right and the blue on the left, which you could switch them, but as long as they're both the same place, this part is gonna be super easy. I've just decided to put a blue ruler over each red ruler. And when I came back around to the other end, I made sure I tucked the red underneath the blue from the first one. And now I'm just making sure that all of the joints are the same. So basically I've decided that right there where the two ruler corners meet is where I want um, them to make sure, you know, like I basically wanna make sure all the corners are the same. So where they meet is gonna have the same angle. And this way the star will come out, perfect. Um, hey, if you like an imperfect star, go for that too. You know, I'm not trying to say whatever, but you guys get the idea. Okay? And then I'm just putting a dab of glue, not too much, okay? And I'm just holding it there for a second before I move on to the next one because I don't want it to wiggle. And there is a reason that we put the holes of the star at the points instead of down here is because basically you have a place to hang it now. <laughs> um, so you could just hang it right through the hole in the beginning. And this is so sturdy. I actually did this craft on Saturday um, and it is still hanging strong um, over my mantle. Okay, so I hope you really enjoy this super simple $5 star. You really couldn't buy a star this big for $5, to be honest with you. And trust me, I've looked. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is this Americana bunting. And this is out of paper doilies. Now, these paper doilies are from the Dollar Tree's website. I had paper doilies already that I had gotten at Walmart. But I will be honest with you, the paper doilies from the Dollar Tree are way better for this project. You also need painter's tape red and blue spray paint or you could use red and blue ink 
Aline's Tacky Glue, Scissors, and Jute Twine. Um, it's just what you think it's going to be. Basically, you spray paint red, the large doilies red, and we're going to use four. And when you get the package from the Dollar Tree, there is four of each in it. Um, this package was from Walmart. It was, I believe it was like a, way more money than I wanted to pay, but I was picking it up for my aunt and then she ended up having some. But the reason I say that the Dollar Tree ones are better is because these are actually coated. Um, I don't know if they're coated in like parchment paper in like a silicone or if they're waxed, but they're coated and the it tended to like not hold the spray paint as well. So um, I highly recommend the ones from the Dollar Tree. Plus they'll be cheaper. So, <laughs> so as you can see, I just went a couple of light coats around. I taped down the doily to a piece of cardboard so that it wouldn't go flying with the spray paint. Um, so now I'm doing the small ones and I'll give you a little bit more in depth on how I spray painted them with the small ones. It's really important to spray your spray to spray your spray paint to shake your spray paint really well until you hear the bowl make a different noise um, but basically I just wadded a little piece of painters tape underneath so it would be quick release okay and that's it it's just push 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 and then around the edges I did turn it because I noticed that in some of the details on the edges and in, in some of the details was remaining white okay so once they're dry we're gonna go ahead and glue the white on top of the red and the only thing that I think is important <laughs> is that you match up two of the points of the doily now the ones from the Dollar Tree don't have points so it's just a matter of matching up the pattern and you only have to match up the pattern across two sides and that's important for when we go ahead and make the bunting okay but just like this, see how I'm matching up like where two of the matching details are across from each other, okay? And then we're just gonna repeat with all four doilies. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the blue, okay, once the blue is dry. Now if you noticed, the red centers don't, aren't important that they're perfectly red, but the blue needs to be perfectly blue because you're gonna see mostly blue, okay? And I've put a little glue in the middle and then around each one of those little flowers just to hold the edges down. And I'm doing the same thing here where I'm making sure that I've lined up the same points with the same points. That's why I just turned it. Okay, so whatever point I decided to pick up to match before, I'm matching up the blue one. And like I said, the reason that that's important is because we're gonna cut these in half and we're gonna thread them onto burlap. So it's burlap, we're gonna thread them onto jute. Sorry about that. And it's really just going to be that simple. But you want them to all be the same. So you want to make sure that they all have at least the same midpoint. And this way we also are lining up some holes that we can thread through. Okay. So there's two ways to mark. I've folded it in half and just cut it, which is super simple. Like really, if you used ink pads to ink these pages um, instead of spray paint, this could really be a kid's project. Or kids can color them. They don't have to be perfectly dark blue and dark red. Um, the other way I could use is a straight edge and just find those two star, like those two points that we matched and just use a straight edge and draw a line and cut. Okay. And then we're just threading through holes. We're going in the red doily and then out the white doily and then behind the blue doily, uh, behind the, all of them actually. So you don't see the thread come across the front of the doilies. And I cannot tell you like a kid who always puts his shoes on the wrong feet. Every time I went to do this, I started to thread it the wrong way. So forgive yourself. I forgive myself all the time. <laughs> all right. And it's really, really that simple. Um, these are, my particular ones were uh, six, eight, no, oh, sorry, that's not right. Eight, 10, and 12 inch doilies. So I needed, a, and, it, and there's eight halves. So I needed a minimum of eight feet but you really need 10 feet because you need a hanger and you want to put a little space between them. Okay. So that's where I decided how much jute, but again, if you have a small space, you want to put these in and you only want to make three, make three. If you have a huge space that you'd like to put these in and you want to make 20, make 20, obviously that part's up to you. As long as you have at least one foot space for each bunting. Okay. I just love, 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 love these buntings. 
and I thought they came out super cute. So here they are like swagged, which wasn't my favorite, but I liked them in a big string like this. Excuse me, a big row like this. And I hope you really found this as easy as I did. So I hope you guys like these tutorials. If you do, give them a try. Tag me on Instagram. Let me know how it goes. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with friends and family. And as always, take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.